Well guys, we're back on Rental Rocket Landscaping. And of course it's winter so we're pushing snow. And I'm finishing up cleaning the driveway because I can't tell if the snow drifted in last night or if Buck was doing some practice and pushed the snow into my driveway. I don't know, you tell me. But anyways, it gives us a chance to use this new RAM that our company bought I never used. By the way, if you guys end up enjoying snow plowing, feel free to smash that like button. In case you haven't watched episode one, basically we have a snow plowing business. We just got these two. Actually, this shop was built three or four years ago and this shop was just put in. We have a couple of different trucks. We're always looking to expand and also hire another employee soon. But we got the F-150 XL. That's the daily runner. Also got some new toolboxes, which are nice. F-150 XL with a plow and then a sander on the back and an F-350 XLT. This is mainly just used, help pull trailers around. We don't even have a plow on it, but also let me show you one other truck. It just amazes me how much you can do in farm sim, like how much modders and you could say giants themselves make available, like things to do in farm sim. If you scroll through the videos that I have on the squad channel, it's insane. I'm just shocked how much we can do. Snow plowing, mowing, farming, camping. I don't know, there's tons of stuff. Anyways, here's our F-250. Lariat. It does look kind of like a Keen Ranch, and I do even have the Keen Ranch rims on it. So, since this is a v, v plow, for now, what I'm doing is just pushing it all in. You know what? Last video, I was wondering why I could barely hear the trucks, and that was because my engine volume was like at 50%. Just changed it back to 100, so it'll be good. That's kind of neat. So, the modder that made this plow even put the snow plow animation or sounds in there of like a, a plow grinding against the ground. If you guys are wondering how to get snow, what map this is, I'm not the best at tutorials, so I'll leave that up to somebody else on YouTube. But snow, this I'm using Seasons and Geo Snowy Lands to get snow on here. And then this map is County Line. You can find all those mods on Mod Network, which I have a link down below too. It's all free, it's super easy to download. This V plow is so nice compared to the Fisher plow that I was using. Fisher plow works pretty good, but man, I'm digging this V plow. So one thing I'd like to do is pick up a skid steer so that way we can actually move salt around and load salt trucks. Because right now that's just not possible. So we're going to take the daily, the F-150 XL, put her in drive, and go and check out some skid steers. Man, the city does not even plow the snow good. What is this? But look at Casey's. Looking good. They have three deer available. And if we're going snow removal, Buck kind of... I talked to Buck on the phone before this, and he was like, don't go with tracks. Don't go with tracks for snow removal. I love tracks, but on on cement with snow, tracks are just like a skating rink. So he was like, go with tires. That's fine. I don't care what you get. Just get tires. That's it. So we got to get tires. So it's either go with a 332G with tires or 332G with airless tires. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, we'll go with the regular tires. Hey, that sounds like a deal. That'll be good. Okay. Thanks, Dave. Oh, we got her bought. We're going with the regular tire 332G. It's gonna come, it doesn't come with a bucket, which is kind of nice, so we gotta get that. And they don't have any buckets available. They're all sold out. I, I should have bought the plow. Maybe I should go buy a plow for them, but it does come with pallet forks. So for now, load and salt, we should be fine. So I'm gonna run and grab the dually, come back here. Oh shoot, we gotta pick up a trailer too. Grab the trailer, and then they'll have it ready with pallet forks. They're gonna top it off with fuel, check all the fluids, and we should be good to go. Sound of a beast right there. The skid steer really would be nice between those cars. Because I didn't even... Shoot, we got to finish cleaning up between those cars a bit. And heck, we got to get something uh, up on top of my rock statue. To show everybody, we do snow plowing too. Usually I keep a snow plow truck on top of that. A couple days while we're not using the truck, I'm going to put the F-250 up there. So we at least have something sitting outside. Cold start. Man, this color looks so good on this truck. Oh, shoot. <laughs> we should probably keep the tailgate down. I must have. Okay, sweet. Since the Ram has a plow on it, we're just going to take the F-350, which is in here. And I also, I got to buy a trailer for it too. So there's this trailer store down the road that we'll go to before we get to John Deere. Dave said it'd be right in an hour, so we got time. And let me show you guys. Okay, let me show you guys the trailers. So these are our options that they sell here. They have a couple out back. I'm not sure what they have in stock, but... What we could do, obviously a little 12 foot utility trailer isn't going to hold the skid steer. But something like this, this is getting into our range, it'd be simple. It's bumper pull, extended rails. This would be really simple, especially if you're you have if you're pulling it with a plow truck. You don't want a giant gooseneck trailer behind there. 
or we could go giant gooseneck trailer. And then technically, say we are pulling with an F-350 dually and we have like two skid steers, then we could actually put two skid steers on here. But I mean, you got a $12,000 trailer? This isn't a bad price, 3,450 bucks compared to 12 grand? For now, we're gonna go, it says car trailer, it's a skid steer trailer, it has 7K axles, so that should, 7K axle, 14K total, you got the weight of that skid steer, which is probably a little under 10,000 pounds. And then you got the trailer itself. So Dave called. He said the skid steer's ready. And then he was like, hey, guess what? We found a pallet fork in a bucket under a snow pile. So we can actually sell you a bucket now, that too. So I'm going to pay two grand extra, and we're going to get a bucket. That'll be nice for at least kind of cleaning up some areas. But we're going to pull around to the loading area back here. And it looks like there's the bucket. And one of those is my forks. Hopefully it's a gray one. So this is the trailer. I thought it was gonna be a little bigger than it showed in the pictures, but this is what they had. It's a 14 foot, it should work. We can fit the skid steer here, couple attachments up front. We got room. 332G. There's a couple guys on that YouTube platform that I've seen that have bought this. I don't know, one of them goes by like fair or something like that. And the other's like lunkers, lunkers, that's what it is. Okay, start her up, not bad. Okay, I'm gonna let her warm up for a couple minutes and then we should be good. They have all this equipment and they haven't even plowed out this stuff. If I was an employee here, I'd be sprinting outside to get plowing. She's warm, let's see if we can get out of here. Come on, come on. That's not good. Wiggle out, come on. Dying, this thing's pretty quick too. It's got two speeds, so heck, I should've just drove it down the road or something. Okay, so the red one, they only had pallet forks in red. I figured out that black one is actually for a telehandler. So, what we gotta do? And then I gotta scoop up the bucket here. Come on. Come on. Don't play with me like that. Okay, there we go. Come on, slide on back. Okay, here we go. I just don't want that bucket flying off when I'm going up these ramps, so I gotta be careful. Sorry, it may look like I have an arthritis controlling the skid steer. It's just like it's kind of laggy when you go side to side. Come on. <laughs> there we go. Okay, watch the squat of the truck. I don't want to go too far. That's good. Probably back up a bit. There we go. Perfect. Skid steer is strapped down. I was trying to get it strapped down, but I couldn't find any spots to strap it down so we're gonna have to deal with it it's not really strapped down but see you later dave man we still need to clear in between those cars one thing is heck i could just unload the skid steer right here or you know what i'm just gonna load it at the shop and then we'll just drive it over here because i need because my snow plows won't fit between those cars start her up and back her off easy easy there we go hold on I gotta take a picture of this and snap it to Buck. That looks pretty good. So I wanna get salt done today, but if we're gonna be using the skid steer to go clear that lot, we might not get to salt today. I don't know, attach the bucket. Okay, let's hit the road. Do we have flashers on this thing? We don't have flashers, but we do have lights. Okay, that'll work. A lot more snow than I thought. It's gonna take a lot of bucket trips filling this thing up. As much as I want this to work, I don't think this is gonna work. Because check this out, you fill up a bucket so quick. Maybe a, plow, a snow pile or a snow blower would be better. I gotta look into getting one of those. So right now I'm stacking it here because eventually I'm gonna bring a plow truck over and we'll just push it into the side because I can't actually dump along those piles because it's technically not my land. So we're kind of running into some issues there, but it's all good. It's snow plow time. We gotta get a plow over here or something. For now I'm gonna leave the skid steer. Oh, don't leave the skid steer lights on. That calls for a dead battery. Okay, I'm gonna leave the skid steer. We'll sprint over. Bring a plow truck back. I need the smallest plow possible to be able to get in there. I think I'll take the F-150 with the Fisher. Well, let's see what we can do here without scratching the cars. This is gonna be a little tight. Oh God, <laughs> it's filling the cars with snow. That's not good. So I think for now, I'll try pushing this snow out of here. There we go. We'll just pile it along here. Man, maybe the V-plow would have been better for this. It really would have. I'm telling you guys, like, if I had a snow plowing company and I need training, obviously the best training is to have people plow snow. Farm sim, like, this is pretty realistic, you know? If you're putting that blade straight, snow's gonna fly off the side. If you have that blade hard to the right, snow's gonna push hard to the right. You can actually get a lot of experience snow plowing by playing farm sim. I'm, I'm dead serious. 
I mean, for a really new beginner plow, they'll they'll get the hang of it pretty quick by playing farm sim, I think. Okay, let's see how much snow we can push away from the cars. Because I don't want the snow all up in the cars. Literally. Don't scrape it. Don't scrape it. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. We got Casey's done. But I think next video, what we're going to do is try to get a couple of employees hired. So we're going to interview a couple people. Me and Buck will really get going. Plow a lot more lots. Because we got the trucks. We just don't have the people. So, should be fun. Should be interesting. If you enjoyed the video, smash that like button. And hey, I'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching.